What's up everybody and welcome to the Mia Toys and Collectibles channel. So today we're going to do a whatnot auction and um, it's actually only our fifth whatnot auction and I'll tell you one of the things I found most helpful when I was setting up my first whatnot auction was a video somebody posted of just them doing a whatnot auction and what that looks like. First thing you do when you sign up for whatnot is you go through an onboarding process. It's about an hour long class and it was actually really, really informative. Um, they talked you through basically what the expectations are on whatnot. And honestly, it's something I think they should do on every platform. Um, so, so far on whatnot, we have sold 129 items. Um, we've went from zero to 102 followers as of prior to this uh, uh, auction today. Um, and you know what? To be honest, we haven't really made that much profit. One of the things that I noticed about Whatnot um, is you have to build a following first, which the way we chose to do that was we had over 800 items that have been sitting around our warehouse for a while. We took everything that had been here for over a year and we started our first couple auctions off at everything at a dollar. There wasn't anything that I put in the auction that I was gonna be upset about only selling for a dollar. And then the next couple auctions, I started selling things for three and four dollars, and guess what? They sold at three and four dollars. So today, so today's auction, um, we're doing, it's like an estate sale auction. We're doing a little bit of everything that we have um, from Starbucks coffee mugs uh, to, to some t-shirts that didn't sell in our last t-shirt auction. Whatnot has a really cool feature that every time somebody buys something from you, it's paid for immediately. So so one of the first things I think would be very helpful is let me show you how to list something. So I'm gonna scoot over here and I'm gonna bring up my screen right here. And listing is fairly simple. Um, you don't have to go into the detail that you do on some other platforms. Why? Because when you are listing on whatnot, you are gonna physically show the item. So you are gonna say, this is a Berenstein Bears Coles Cares plush, uh, it has a little bit of a wrinkle right here, and you basically explain the flaws or do the things that you would do in a eBay listing, like in the description. So for whatnot auctions, I keep it very simple. I basically put the title as something that I'm going to remember, so if it is purchased, I can ship it out. Um, I usually keep it very basic. Um, you can see this Tickle Me Elmo that we're doing here. I just basically said 1996 Tickle Me Elmo with box. Um, I didn't put anything in the description. Uh, I started the auction at something that I felt that it was comfortable at, at $15. Um, I put that I had a quantity of one. I chose, so you have three options. You can do um, giveaway. So what is a giveaway on whatnot? So a giveaway is something that you would literally give away. You pay for the shipping and um, you the so a shipping label once the giveaway is done is automatically generated and um you just send whatever item you choose for free and um what what it really helps with is that you can actually have a setting on your whatnot auction that says um only people that follow you can participate in the giveaway uh so i found that um i do two or three a show and uh, depending on how well the show's going or depending on how much we're selling. And I found that, that it does get quite a few followers if you do it. So for us, for now, because we are just starting out, um, as I said, we have about 100 followers. Uh, we do light and um, easy items to ship. So I don't wanna spend three hours shipping a vase um, as a giveaway that cost me $45 to ship. So, um, cause you have no way to determine the region, uh, it goes to. So a priority package from Maryland where I live to Virginia is $9. But if Maryland where I live to California is like $45. So, uh, you know, depending on weight and stuff like that. So what do we give away? We give away light and things that are easy to ship. So we, um, Mia Toys and Collectibles has a contract with, um, Kurt Adler. So we do ornaments during the holidays um, that we buy wholesale. And uh, so we actually give away a couple of those so far. So we'll do like this foam um, avocado, which is about three ounces and costs about $4 to ship. Or we'll do like this notorious RBG ornament. 
So enough about what or how to on a whatnot auction. Let me show you how we set up our uh, table and um, then we'll just dive right into the auction. Um, thanks for watching. We really uh, appreciate it. So up until this point, if you found it helpful or if any time throughout the video, you're finding the information that we provide helpful, um, we'd really love it if you would subscribe to our channel. All it does for you is it gives you, um, it puts us into your uh, subscriber list so you can easily find our channel for more um, tips and tricks on reselling and, um, uh, and what you know, it takes to sell on certain platforms. Uh, and for us, it really helps out our channel a lot um, with the YouTube algorithm, but it also lets us know that we're putting out content that um, people enjoy and um, they are uh, helped out by it. And that's something that's really important to us. And it also just helps us uh, to engage um, in conversations with you guys and know what you like and what you don't like. So um, yeah, so if you could hit that subscribe button or if you're not ready to do it now, totally understand. But if any time throughout the um, auction that you're watching, you want to do that, um, it'd be pretty great. So thanks so much and let's get to a whatnot auction. Here's my typical auction setup for my whatnot auctions if I'm doing it face on. So I tape down my stand for my phone so that it doesn't move and shake as I move this table if I bump into it. Um, I typically have my three lights set up so that you get a good shot of the um, items that were purchased. I do my items behind me um, of what is for sale. Uh, and then today I'm going to start off. So I held a t-shirt auction a little while ago. These are some of the leftovers that didn't sell. So what I'm going to do is just to kind of get warmed up for both myself and for the audience. These are the first things that I list so that the people that are joining late or that come by um, after we get started. Uh, and, and it also allows me to get a little bit of the nerves out. As weird as it sounds, you get nervous doing these things. Um, so yeah, so it allows me to kind of get some of the flubs out and I'm doing it on items that I'm, I don't really care about. Hello. Oh, it's just me. All right. We got a few folks joining us. Hey, how's it going? All right. Welcome. Welcome. We're going to give it just a minute and then we're going to get started. We got a lot of, a lot of stuff to get through today and not a lot of time. How's everyone doing? All right. We're going to start off with, um, a few t-shirts and then we're going to dive into some of the other stuff. So if there's anything that you want, um, I don't know if we're going to get to everything in the auction today. So we're going to kind of just see how it goes. But if there's anything that you would like us to run, um, let us know and we will be happy to um, run it. So first up, we're going to run up um, this I Love the 80s t-shirt. It is size small. Um, it's got all the things that you love from the 80s. It's got like your... Uh, tape deck, the uh, slatted sunglasses, and the Rubik's Cube. So let's go ahead, start our first auction. We're going to be doing everything today for 20 seconds. And again, this is a size small. We're going to start this one at a dollar. So start the auction, a dollar for I Love the 80s. And we are going to be doing some giveaways throughout. Typically, once we get like four or five sales, we'll do a giveaway. We have multiple to do. All you have to do to join the giveaway is just to, um, you know, follow our page. All right. Let's see. Uh, no, no video games or Guitar Hero guitar. Sorry. Uh, and actually, we do have a video games t-shirt. So we do have one video game t-shirt which we're actually about to run right now. Um, it's M Bison, Capcom. It is a size small, uh, or extra small, actually, but I think it would fit a small. Um, it's got an awesome graphic on the front, and it's got... No, not video games themselves, no. Nope, just, uh, just a video game t-shirt for right now. We'll keep an eye out, though. We, we sell all kinds of stuff. And uh, we just haven't come across video games in a while. So Capcom. There we go. 
We're gonna start this one at a dollar too. Some of the later stuff. And we're doing it for 20 seconds. For the M. Bison Capcom t-shirt. For Street Fighter, it says Capcom right there at the bottom. Very clean, very nice shirt, good for resale. Next up, we are um, going to run, if anybody is a quilter, so this is a 2XL t-shirt. It says, imagine a world where fabric is free and quilting makes you thin. Um, it's a purple shirt on a Port & Company essential shirt uh, back. So we're going to start this one. Again, we're starting at a dollar for 20 seconds. Hope everyone's having a really good Saturday. All right. And then we could do one of our Starbucks mugs. So this is like the uh, a studded Starbucks tumbler. It is green, it's like the ombre. As they say it, the um, straw is studded as, well, it's not studded on the outside, but it does have like the look of it. Um, it's got the lid, it's 24 ounces. This one is brand new, so it's never been used. Um, super clean, it's got the original sticker on the bottom. All right, so let's run this. And we're starting, uh, most of our tumblers are starting at $5 for the Starbucks tumbler, 24 ounce. All right. So Shimalos is winning at $7 with 10 seconds left. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. All right, Nerdy Mandy coming in. All right, two seconds left at $10. All right, Nerdy Mandy, congratulations. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Like I said, we're going to have that out on um, Monday, so we appreciate it. So let's run some of the other tumblers that we have. So the next one we'll run, this is another 24 ounce. Um, I believe this one is new as well. It's super clean. It has, um, uh, it's 100%, it's the steel, uh, stainless steel, excuse me. And then you have like the, the flat lid on it with the green straw. There are some minor scratches on the top, like you can barely see them. It's more like shelf wear, but you know, I just wanna let you know so you're not surprised if you see anything. And then uh, it does have the sticker on the bottom. It kind of fades from the red into the green and it has the, the Starbucks Siren logo on that, on the front. And it is 24 ounce. Oh, I don't think I put this one in. I am so sorry. Hold on one second. We're going to add this one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Where did I go? All right. There we go. All right, sorry about that. I thought I'd put them all in. So we're gonna run this one right now, starting at 20 seconds, $5 for the green to kind of reddish pink Starbucks stainless steel tumbler. You're very welcome. So this one is the, um, it's another plastic tumbler. It's got the it's very similar style lid with the straw, 24 ounces. And this one goes, fades in from the pink to the purple to the blue.
Shut this one five dollar from it for twenty seconds. The Starbucks right there on the side. So uh, a lot of them are new. This one, this one is not. So like this one has the original sticker on the bottom. The other one had the original sticker on the bottom. Uh, the next one we're gonna run has the original sticker, and that one. These are all these. This one is brand new as well. So this one is, I think, I want to say it's the watermelon. Um, summer one, it goes from the pink to the blue. It's got the green straw as the original sticker on the bottom. With the lid. And it's got that ombre style too, but this one is like a square pattern, both on the top and the sides. Yeah, the watermelon pink and purple gradient ombre tumbler. There you go. Start that one for 20 seconds for the Starbucks tumbler. And then we'll do some of the, the glass ceramic mugs next. All right. Thank you very Mandy. We appreciate it. And you do take a discount of shipping if you buy more than one. All right, perfect. So we'll have those out for you. All right, so up next, we're gonna run the um, Frankfurt, Germany uh, collector series mug. So this one, it has like the, the sticker on the bottom, um, but I can't confirm or whether it's new or not. Um, it is very clean. There's no marks or chips or cracks or anything like that. It does have the Frankfurt logo on this side. And then on the back, it has a picture of the skyline. Um, it says Starbucks collector series on the bottom and it's green on the inside. So let's go with the Frankfurt Germany mug. Starting at $5, running for 20 seconds for the Starbucks collectors mug. So yes, that auction did not go to plan, but we did sell two things, which are two sales that we didn't have when it started. And ultimately, um, you know, we did learn a lot. It's I think it's going to be better us for us moving forward if we do an auction that is one thing focused. So like next week, we are going to do just coffee mugs um, because we did have a run on those mugs um, or, or on the two Starbucks tumblers that we that we went with. Uh, and that lets me know that some people were there that everybody or at least the, the people that were there bidding on it were there for those tumblers um, and they weren't there for the shirts or the jackets or the other stuff, which lead me to believe that, okay, well maybe if we did just a coffee mug auction, it'll be good. And that's really what you have to do. You kind of have to feel out these um, platforms. So if you sell on eBay, it took us, we, we took some hits on eBay before we figured out the putting in the correct shipping and not doing free shipping and doing those things. Um, and it was the same thing on like Etsy, learning out how, how that works and, um, you know, figuring out the, the vibe of that and what, what these sites look for and how to drive the algorithm. Um, but we started out with 101 followers. We ended up with, um, uh, 108 followers. So we were able to get nine more followers out of that. Um, and then, yeah. And on top of it, we didn't do a giveaway. We didn't eat into our $12 and 33 cents or we did do a giveaway, but nobody signed up to follow us at the time and, uh, they, or they didn't stick around. So, you know, those things happen, but, um, yeah, ultimately we hope this helped you find out how to run a whatnot auction. Maybe your whatnot auction might be a little better than ours. So hopefully this taught you how to run a whatnot auction and and our hope is that your first whatnot auction or fifth whatnot auction in our case um, runs a little is a little more profitable than that one was. But I think that the foundations there on how to create a listing and how to run an auction. Um, so I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, if you can hit that subscribe button, that lets us know that you find content like this helpful. And it also really helps out the channel. And for you, it just means that you can find our videos faster in your subscription bar. So if you want to subscribe, we would really appreciate it. And um, 
we look forward to putting out more videos like this, and we will see you at the thrift store.